Hey guys! I am so excited to be filming a YouTube video. I feel like on Instagram I'm kind of in my comfort zone now, I'm really happy to talk on there, but I just need to get myself out there and start on YouTube. So it's going to be good because I can film a bit longer, I can really show all my creative looks and go a bit more into depth about how I do them because that's something I'm really excited about, like teaching and um, showing my skills that way. So I thought before I do all that, the best thing to do is just sit down, introduce myself a little bit, go over a few things and just be a bit more relaxed. So I'm just sat on my bed, got natural lighting, I'm going to do a bit of makeup but also I've asked some questions on Instagram. They were really interesting. I was actually surprised. I thought obviously there was going to be quite a few about Glow Up, um, and there are. But there's a lot about like my family, life before Glow Up, because there was life before Glow Up. And I'm going to go through them um, as I do my makeup. I've already um, prepped my skin with Embryoli's Late Cream Concentrate, which is what I always use. I love that as a base. And I'm going to put a little bit of skin food on. Just realised I don't actually have a mirror, which is good. So, I have had a really bad week. Oh, just like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Something that really helps me, which is useful because it's kind of work as well, is doing makeup. So I've really been throwing myself into my makeup. And I'm starting to feel a bit better. But basically what happened, you might have seen on either the news or on my Instagram. We were flying from Manchester Airport to go on our honeymoon this week. And all the flights were just cancelled suddenly. Um, I think it was like 87 flights were cancelled. And obviously ours was one of them. And I was just absolutely gutted. I mean like at the time we were fine because we actually had a lovely day in the airport. I got to look around duty free and go shopping, we played cards. We went for like cocktails which is just not something me and my husband could normally do. So I actually had a really nice day but then when it was cancelled I was just like really like this is our honeymoon. And I think it was until the next day we were in the hotel and I was just like I'm just absolutely gutted. We're parents, like it's not that easy for us to go away. We've never been abroad without Alfie. And suddenly we were literally in the queue to board when they told us it would be delayed. They didn't even tell us it was cancelled then. And that's when, um, yeah, like eight hours later they told us it was cancelled. So yeah, I still just feel a bit like, why are we so unlucky? Obviously it could have been a lot worse, and actually while I was there, all I could think was just glad that we didn't have our son with us, because that's a long time to have kids there. And then to try and explain like, oh, you're not actually going on holiday. So yeah, I was just a bit gutted about that. And then I had other plans, like where I'm meant to be now, and that got cancelled. <laughs> so I just felt a bit like, oh, nothing's going my way. So I've just like, thrown myself into makeup and to Instagram and now to YouTube because um, it distracts me and I feel like I'm still being produ productive. I'm going to try and remember to talk about what I'm doing but if you've got any questions just ask below. This is just soap brows and I'm just taking it through my brow. So a lot of the questions are actually about glow up and I did think about doing a specific video for advice about applying for glow up, applying for reality TV or like a talent show. But the more I thought about it, I just thought like my advice is really one point, so I can't fill a video talking about that. So I thought I'd start off by just saying that because I've got a lot of questions about advice for if you're applying. Um, and then I'll go through the specific questions that I've asked. This is just the um, Maybelline New York 24 hour? Or is it 48 hour? It's a lot of hours. So basically, my advice, if you're applying, we'll say for glow up specifically, because obviously that is all I've had experience with. You really, really, really just have to be yourself. You have to, because the casting producers who are interviewing you, and there are a lot of stages of interviews, it's not just like you send them your Instagram and then they're like, yeah, we'll have you. Um, they want to know everything about you, they want to know the ins and outs of your family, your personality, your art, everything. And they're professional. They've got to that job 
because they know what they're looking for and they can see through fakeness. Um, so you've just got to be yourself. And the thing is, if you get on the show, you're going to be yourself because you're, it's such a stressful situation that there's no way you can keep up an act. And I think the nice thing about Glow Up specifically is they weren't looking for a specific type of person because if you look at the 10 people who got selected, we were all different and they were looking for people who were different, which is really nice because it gave everyone a chance and I think also as a viewer watching it, you felt like you could be represented because every personality type was there, if that makes sense. And not just that, but every style of makeup was there. So to do with the interviews, you've just got to be yourself. Obviously, try and come across like the most confident version of yourself. You've got to be like engaging, but you can still do that and really be true to what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Don't go on there and be like, I'm going to do this and say this to them. If you know when you get there, you're just going to be like, sorry. And even on the show, that was something that really I was passionate about, staying true to myself, because... I knew that if I was to go home, at least I could be really proud of what I did and the way I portrayed myself, and that is something I was really proud of. So, just remember that. The other side of the interview process is they are looking at your skill, they're looking at your talent, whether you're going to be able to um, make a good show, I guess. So, you can prepare for that, you can practice. This year, you have the benefit of knowing what you're getting into, which we didn't, so when we applied, we didn't really know what we were applying for, it didn't have a name, it wasn't called Glow Up. We knew obviously we were applying for a TV show, but we didn't know exactly what it was going to entail. Whereas you now have the benefit of knowing what you're getting into, you know what skills you need to practice upon. They can tweak the show, but generally it's probably going to be like the same sort of idea. So what I would say is just practice, practice, practice. Immerse yourself in art, fashion, makeup, anything that can benefit you and your work. To be honest, this is something that, as makeup artists, anyway, we should be doing to improve our work. But especially when you're trying to show your work to that many people, um, it is a lot of pressure. And it makes sense to just be the, the best you can be when you go on to it. So yeah, I remember in my first few interviews thinking, oh, they're not going to want like my personality, just because I, I am a bit more... I'm not reserved, like, I'm very confident in what I do and in what I say, but I think because I'm so confident in it, I just don't talk a lot of shit, basically. <laughs> As I kept going through stages and stages through the interview process, I realised, well, they wouldn't be taking me through if, like, I was, they were like, oh, completely, she's not the one. So it got to the point where it was just a talent thing and I knew that they liked my personality. So I just kept with it. I was just stuck true to myself. <laughs> So I hope that helped a little bit if you're thinking of applying or if you've already applied. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Honestly, it was the most incredible experience. I've met some of my best friends through it and if there's any other way I can help or you're looking for a bit of encouragement, just drop me a DM because um, I'm always, always happy to help. Now, on to the more specific questions. I got a lot of questions about my little Alfie, so if you didn't watch the show or if you don't know me personally, I have a little boy called Alfie and he's nearly three years old. When I did the show he was like two years old and it was the most difficult thing about doing the show. Um, it was really, really hard and there were times where I thought I just don't know if I can leave him for that amount of time. I think that's brought up a lot of questions for people who either have kids or families and they're thinking of doing the show. There's no other way to say it, like, it's so difficult and the nature of the show or filming in general is very intense and you don't get a lot of time other than that. And I think for me that really helped me because I was busy all the time and all I could think of was it was worse for my partner Rob who had work but still was at home um, looking after Alfie, it was harder for him because he had that time to like miss me and miss my help at home. Whereas I was very busy and I was aware that like it wasn't the hardest on me. It was hard for me, but I had also put a lot of strain on my friends and family who were helping us as well. And without them, I just couldn't have done it. And they were so, so, so supportive. And I'm just, I'd always be grateful for them giving me the chance to take that opportunity. 
the first question is how did um, Glow Up affect your life at home? I guess you mean like when I came back from Glow Up and I felt just so much gratitude for what my family did for me, especially my husband. Never once did he complain, he never ever like put that on to me when I was there. I think he understood like the stress I was going through and he never ever said he was struggling or anything and I understand that it probably probably was hard, like I know what it's like to look after a toddler. Um he never ever put that on me and I was just so grateful for that. It would have probably only taken one comment from him to say that he was struggling and I'd have been on the next train. So I just felt a lot more like appreciation for my family and what they do for me. It just cemented that I can trust him and I can lean on him um, and that we're a team, which is really nice. By the way, I'm not going to include people's names just because a few people asked me not to so it's just easier for me to not include anyone's name. I hope that's okay. Someone asked, how old were you when you had your son? I was 23 years old. Um, is that right? Yeah, I was 23 years old. And then someone asked, do you want more children? And I definitely want more children. I think I come from a big family. I've got two brothers who I absolutely adore. They're my best friends. I think the nicest thing that I can give to Alfie is another sibling. I just can't imagine my life without a sibling. So yeah, I definitely want more. I don't know when, um, I don't know if it'll happen, but I definitely want more. Does Alfie find it weird when I walk in the room with a face full of makeup, especially my illusion looks? Um, he just gets really excited. I don't think it matters what's on my face. I could literally have just like thrown some glitter in my face and he, he just gets really excited. Um, normally he'll shout the colour, so say I've painted myself blue, he'll be like, blue mummy, blue mummy, blue mummy. And I'll be like, yeah, no, I just spent three hours putting it on my face. I did a look on my story the other day and I used this, these like pigment paints from Kat Von D and absolutely loved it. I didn't use this colour, I used the orange and the pink. They've only come out in three colours, I think. But I'm excited to use the blue because I've really, really loved the other ones. So people always want to know, and someone has asked, how do you balance between home and makeup? It's a really good question because I think I'm still trying to figure out that myself. But that's not a problem that's specific to someone who's got a child, I think. I think it's hard for everyone. It's really hard to find that balance and not feel guilty about doing too much or not doing enough and still try to figure that out myself. I think what I do do is I try to be really present in the moment. So when I am with my son, I'm really with him. And then I feel like when I'm doing makeup or I'm traveling or even if I'm upstairs and he's downstairs because I'm doing a look, I can really concentrate on it and I don't feel as guilty. But I always feel guilty. <laughs> so what made you apply for Glow Up? I got tagged in the casting call loads. It was on Facebook and it was like this really vague casting call put out. It was like, do you like makeup? Do you want to be on TV? It was like really vague. Obviously they didn't even have a name for the show then. Um, and I think they don't like to reveal too much. I think it said it was on BBC Three, but I can't remember. And I remember sitting in bed and doing my application and I wasn't even sure whether to send it and I woke up my husband and was like I don't know whether to send it like it's this thing I don't think I could actually do it and he was just like why don't you just apply just see if you get far and then you can decide so I did and I think in the morning I wasn't even sure because it was so late I was like did I actually apply for that like I couldn't really remember and then it just sort of carried on like I kept getting through stages and stages um but at first I just applied because I thought why not and I didn't actually think anything would come of it. I thought it might be a good thing just to like spark my um, inspiration again with my work. I had loads of questions um, about like beef or drama on Glow Up and I hate to disappoint but that just wasn't a thing. Obviously there was a few things shown on telly where people got a bit heated but it didn't really go further than that and I was never involved with it. I just wasn't there for that. So I'm sorry if I'm not answering your question about that, but there's just no 
tea to spill. So like, I got one saying, who did you not get along with? And like, I got along with everyone, I really did. Um, I was just so fascinated by everyone. I thought it was so interesting to get to know everyone and see what their approach to makeup and art was. And I really loved that part of it. Obviously there were people I got along with more than others, but I really liked everyone. What was your favourite look on the show that I did? Um, I don't know, it's really hard for me because I get this question a lot. It's really hard, but I think I just loved my Fashion Week look, the one that I did um, with like the circles on the eyes. Just because I got a chance to show something that is something that I love doing and it was like almost like my dirty little secret that I like doing things that are a bit more scaled back and the show gave me the opportunity to show that I can do that as well whereas on Instagram I always felt like I need to do like the biggest looks and like the most painterly looks and then um, it was nice to get recognition for something so scaled back and like something I love to do but didn't feel like I could show so I think that like meant the most to me that look what was your favourite look on the show that wasn't yours? And that is equally as hard a question. Um, I don't know. I think, um, do you know what? Ellis's final look. Um, I wish I could have seen it in person. <laughs> uh, obviously that would have been nice because I would have been in the final. It just looked incredible and it was so perfect and it was the perfect mix of like makeup and creativity and I just loved it and it was the perfect way to like finish the whole competition so that might be my favourite look. And that kind of leads into the next question. Who should have won Glow Up? And 100% with all my heart I know that Ellis was the deserved winner. He is not only just an incredible artist and so skilled and knowledgeable but he's such a lovely person and I think that really came across in the show it was lovely for other people to see that he's just such a lovely person and and gives so much so yeah he was my winner at the same time I might block him from watching this because I don't want him getting a big head why is it when you wear blue eyeshadow it always gets to a stage where you look like a 90s kid who's just discovered makeup <laughs> How did you get started with Instagram and YouTube? So I started Instagram um, about seven years ago. It was when I first moved up to Newcastle and it was just somewhere that I could post what I was doing. I started doing makeup just to express myself a little bit. Um, it was just another form of art at the time. And I remember posting on my, like, my personal Instagram and just thinking, oh my God, people are gonna get so annoyed with this. Like, they wanted to see what I was doing in Newcastle, they don't want to see some weird makeup that I've just done on my roommate. I started a new page and I remember sat with one of my flatmates, Rosie, and we sat trying to think of a name and she came up with Beauty by Belinda and I just started posting on there and it kind of took off, it was a bit mad. Really like unexpected, it was not, it was not even for people to follow, that's not even what I thought. It was literally just like my little private portfolio and it got attention. That's crazy. That is mad. I get a lot of messages from people and they just want to know how to gain followers and I think that's probably where they're going wrong. Like you need to stop thinking about that and maybe just do it because you love it and maybe just do it to share your passion and if the followers come then that's nice. And then how did you start with YouTube? I clicked record on this camera about half an hour ago <laughs> um, um, still waiting to see how that goes I'll keep you updated how do you come up with new looks? there's no like answer for that to be honest um, my imagination's a bit strange I can get inspiration from anywhere and I mean literally anywhere <laughs> and then sometimes I can't find inspiration I think it's just the way that artists brains work I like looking at um, nature different artists not always makeup artists I like looking at um, like actual art um, 
I don't know. I wish I knew the answer to that. I wish there was somewhere I was like, right, I just go there and I'll be inspired, but that place does not exist. Oh, this is a good one to finish on. So, did you always agree with the judges' criticisms and compliments of you? I can't see the rest of the question, but I can answer that part. Um, I think the whole point is that you don't have to agree with everyone, so art is subjective and it would be weird if there was like a right and a wrong. I either agreed with them or I could see where they were coming from and how I could take that and improve in my work and I think a lot of people have commented on how through Glow Up I like improved and it was because everything they said I was listening and I was learning and I was applying to my next task. So I think that's something that we should all try and do, like don't take it as a personal attack. I mean, if this was like a troll on Instagram being horrible, <laughs> it's different, but they are um, really talented, respected makeup artists and what they were saying was constructive, so that's why I never ever took offence and it doesn't matter whether I agree or not. It was their opinion and that is fine. At this point, I actually can't remember what a look looks like without a bit of gloss. <laughs> That's the point we've got to. So thank you so much for watching this and getting to know me a little bit more. I hope that I've answered most of your questions. If not, then I'm always, always on Instagram. If there's anything else you want to know, just let me know. And I'd love for this to be a place where you could let me know what you'd want to see in the future. I think for me, I really want to create content that is educational and I feel like is helping someone. So if you've got any specific questions you'd like answered in video form, I would love to know. I'm really, really enjoying throwing myself into this weird, crazy world. And yeah, I'm excited to see what comes. So far, since Glow Up, everything has been amazing and and I made it through my first YouTube video and I didn't pass out, so <laughs> we're doing well. Mwah. Mm. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Dirty pins.